Hello Zany friends, I'm Lainey. And I'm Marshall. And today we have for you the November box for Zany Lainey Wax. Mm -hmm. And the theme this month is... The Walking Dead. Alexandria, Virginia. Now remember for each box that you get, you will get a customized postcard that's a travel type postcard that Marshall designs. And so we're doing this one based on Alexandria. There's a lot of things in here from the last couple seasons. There are some homages to the first mm -hmm. season. So uh, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, we love The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. So we it took us a little bit to kind of like pull influences from a lot of things that were happening over the seasons. Yeah. So that is what that is about. There's a few different iterations that I had to go through to try and like see how much I could draw out. Mm -hmm. Actually, there was one thing that we tried to do that didn't quite work out for a background. That would be like a map of everywhere that they went mm -hmm. and who died where, but that didn't work it well. didn't work out. No. So before we start, let me go ahead and tell you about the um, details of Zany Laney Wax. So right now we have just transitioned over to zanylaney.com specifically. We're not going through Create Joy anymore. It And the way we're doing the box is it is no longer a subscription box. You only buy the boxes that you want. It's not reoccurring. We're not going to take money out every month, but you do have to go in and like purchase each box as they become available. Uh, this box is available today for you. Um, our prices have kind of gone down, but not really. So what happened is uh, we were we had the price of the shipping included in the box so it was a lot easier for you to spend $25 and you would get the box but what happened was that when we go over to the new website it would not allow us to do it so what we're doing is we're selling these boxes for $20 but shipping is not included this is a really great deal anyway because we sell a single clamshell for $5 but for that means that you would be getting five clamshells for the price of four. So we're basically throwing in that extra clamshell for you and you do have to pay for shipping. So that's kind of how we're making it up to you um, in that way. And you know, we're sorry we have to do it that way, but that's just the limitations of what we're using yeah. for the website. So I'm sorry. Um, but if you wanna buy singles, uh, single clamshells, they will be available for $5 a piece. However, this month is only available as a box for another month. And then after that, we'll start selling the single ones. Um, and we'll explain that in a minute too. The other thing we're gonna start doing is selling the little uh, portion cups mm -hmm. sample size, where you can get five of those for $10, so you get half the price, because it's half the product. And uh, we'll be selling a couple of those for October and November. So make sure that you are uh, going to our website at Zany Laney to look at that. The other thing we want to tell you is our wax. So we've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, what makes your wax different? So the first thing is that we use a soy blend wax. It makes it softer. And the reason why we do that is because it's supposed to hold the fragrance longer. It takes less time to warm up. So the fragrance is going to be released faster mm -hmm. and it is better like for the environment and for like, it doesn't okay. release as many different chemicals. Yes. Um, wax does actually, like normal wax, uh, paraffin wax, mm -hmm. um, when it melts, does release fumes into right. the air, which can be bad for some people's um, allergies. And in really high doses, really high doses, it can be toxic. Mm -hmm. um, so we use soy. It's a lot healthier for you, better for the environment. And isn't it a little cheaper, actually? Uh, I don't know. I actually haven't priced that much because yeah. I, I literally researched wax and found out that soy was the one I wanted to go with, and then I just kind of went from there. And um, we yeah. don't use any dyes in what we no. work with, not, not only just to make it faster, make it cheaper, make it better. It's also meaning that there's not very much in the way of um, add additives. Mm -hmm. um, really, the only other additive other than scent we have is Vibar, which makes that stay longer. It, mm -hmm. it, it makes the scent a little bit better. Yeah, and we don't use that much Vibar in it. It's just kind of a little additive that you drop in and it makes it look like a little more shiny and it makes the scent be retained a little better. Mm -hmm. Plus the fragrances that we're using, we're trying to source them from a more natural source and right now that company claims that they do have fragrances that are phthalate free, which is very important because you don't want those toxins in yeah. your air. So that's one of the reasons why we're using the ingredients that we're using in there and we hope that that gives you a better product, a more uh, for your money and more bang for your buck too because I know a lot of places like Walmart doesn't necessarily have 
that quality and you can get a Walmart clamshell for four fifty. So it's really only like fifty cents mm -hmm. more and you get this and art, which we'll get to in a minute. Oh, yeah. Some people have also asked us, you know, what do I do like warmers? Literally, we've used, we have tested these in Scentsy warmers, we have tested them in like a hot plate warmer, we have tested them in like a variety of different other brands, brands. the Glade warmer that you can get like at your drugstore, um, they all work. But there's other ways that it will work too. Oh, yeah. And we wanted to share this one with you because it was fun. This is what we do. So we took a jar. This one just happens to be a Bath & Body Works single wick candle jar. You can see the, the label on the top. And what my husband did was he just poked holes in the top of the jar. And what we do is we put this, um, fill it up with wax. And then we put it in our car. We actually have those drink holders in the door so that it won't spill out. So we put it in there. We live in Florida, so year-round this works for us. It might not work for you year-round if you live somewhere cold. But when it's warm, the wax melts, and we send our car. Which is awesome, because that also means we're not getting a lot of like the toxins in our car. that You might get if you have like a little plug-in warmer yeah. or something like that. You can use the same thing in here. It's so cheap just to throw a couple cubes in there. So this is another thing if you're like, I don't know if I want to do a warmer cars. This also works if you put it in the bathroom. Um, and depending on how many holes and how big the holes are, you could probably do it that way or you can just do it this way. There's other possibilities uh, and I'm pretty certain that you could go and look online and find other crafty ways to build your own wax warmer. Like taking a whole bunch of Christmas lights and wrapping it around that thing. It would might warm it up. Sure. DIY. Uh, yes. So <laughs> now that we have talked about that for about five minutes, let's tell you about the box. So as Marshall showed you, you'd get a postcard in every box. You also get one of these tokens. If you get the, the silver one, after you get 10 of these, you get a free clamshell. If you get the gold one, you have to email me for a code for a free clamshell one-time use automatically you get that with your order. So make sure you're looking in your bags for these and that you're keeping them because they are worth something. Um, so you get that. And then the last thing other than the wax that you get is on the back of your postcard, you're gonna have a link and a QR code. So you can use either one and you're gonna be able to go to uh, a form and select your favorite scents from the box. And once you do that, it will give you a link to a website where you're gonna be able to download all the art that he has created for your phone, for your desktop, whatever you wanna use it for, tablet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever I build these, I do try and keep in mind all those different ones. And I don't always have literally every one in every format. Mm -hmm. Some of them will only work for a desktop, so mm -hmm. it will only work for a mobile. And so you're gonna have different things in different amounts, different times. Mm -hmm. But you're always going to get a desktop of this and then mobiles at least uh, for the individual sets. Right, and keep in mind, if you buy the box, you will get this. If you decide you're gonna buy the single cents, the only thing you're gonna get is one of these per purchase. So these come with basically every purchase that you do. Uh, but honestly, you guys, like, this is this it's it's high quality work he is a professional he does work in the industry so that's why i'm telling you that adds to the value of the box that you are getting that i know a lot of people so far have forgotten to put their favorite sense as their vote and they haven't downloaded a lot of these because i can see who has mm -hmm. voted um we're sneaky like that we are but keep in mind that if you don't vote then your favorite scent might not be there so make sure you're doing that also, if you are interested in being a PR rep for the company, um, go ahead and uh, look down below. You can join our Facebook group. We do have the Zany Laney Wax Facebook group. And, or you can also subscribe to the newsletter that is also on the site. All that information is on the site. Um, you can go there and figure out how to be a PR rep. Every month I open it up for a couple weeks. I only have a limited amount of spots but I am looking for people who are passionate about helping us with the business, people who are um, willing to build a relationship with us. I don't just, I don't pick people who are just kind of like, I like wax and I would like to do this. Yay. Um, you probably should have some kind of interest in the subject matter, like the geeky stuff yeah. um, in order to do this. Uh, but you know, I have a lot of people that apply every month. I only have a limited amount of spots, but don't let that hold you back from applying because there might be something about you that I kind of go, I identify with that. All right, I'll go, <laughs> you know? So make sure that you are, yes. 
Sorry, this is kind of a Make sure <laughs> you are yes. You are yes. <laughs> All right, here is the postcard. And as you can see, it has Rick, and he's about to go chop some zombies, obviously. The now, axe has always been a, a symbol for him of, of authority, of power, which was mm -hmm. really interesting when he got treated like a dog by Negan because he had to surrender the axe. True that. Now, last month we had a little Easter egg in our postcard of a little bunny. Mm -hmm. Is he in this one too? Yeah, Waldo is in there. Waldo the bunny. See if you can find him. You forgot where he was. I did. Well, no, I kind of know where he is. I just was trying to find him. Um, so again, if you message me and you're the first person to message me that you found the bunny in your postcard, I will send you a little something. But you have to message me. Because while these will, this postcard will show up on my Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, just putting it on the Instagram isn't going to be messaging her. Nope, nope. So make sure you message me. Say, I found the bunny here. And I will send you something. Yeah. The first, uh, and remember, he did do all the cover art for this too. The first scent we have is called Pudding Anyone. Before Rick and Carl go to Alexandria, Carl finds a lot of pudding and passes the time by sitting on the roof, eating it in his sheriff's hat, watching the walkers go by. This is dark chocolate mixed with banana pudding. So the banana pudding in this one kind of surprised me a lot. like. I know I planned this, so it shouldn't surprise me, but once I mixed it together, I was like, yes, the banana kind of offsets the chocolate in a really good way. Like, it still smells like chocolate pudding, but it kind of tones down that fake chocolate smell. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if you smelt, smelled a lot of this, because I I mix the fragrances myself, and then my husband, Corey, helps me create all of them, like... Mm -hmm build the waxes, pour it, all that jazz. Um, so sometimes Marshall isn't really here when I do this. So Most he of the time I'm it. ending up at work. Yeah, so what do you think about that one? I, I do love it because the chocolate smell is just right. It's mm -hmm. not, again, it's not that powdery fake chocolate. It's chocolate. Yes. Um, and I know some people don't like the chocolate. Like, I, I know I, I have at least one friend who who is kind of like, the chocolate is not for me. That's totally fine that the chocolate is not for you. We got other things for you in this box. I made sure that this box was a good mixture of, you know, some bakery scents, some sweet scents, and some, like, more musky scents. So, I think... And one thing that I learned when I was making the art for this, and you can still kind of see it in the art, um, I replicated the can and found out that... This can that he ate the chocolate pudding out of serves 37 people. Coral. You're going to get fat, <laughs> Coral. <laughs> no, that's why you run after the zombies. You work it off. <laughs> Rule number one of the zombie apocalypse. Cardio. <laughs> All right. The second scent we have is called Carol's Cookies. Yes. <laughs> While poking around online, we found the actual recipe that... Carol uses to make cookies in Alexandria. Her secret ingredient is applesauce. Ours is the scent of Macintosh apples that we mixed in with the cookie dough. So this is like a good bakery scent. What I do like about the cover before we go into this is that we kind of, the idea, and my husband actually does conceptualize this a lot with Marshall also, but Marshall does do the art, and the, the, the whole like vision of this was like it's a diner so there's a place setting of a gun and a knife and then her water is a water bottle the plastic water bottles and it has a Cherokee rose in it so mm -hmm. if you guys remember from season two right uh the Cherokee rose is what Daryl gives to Carol um, when he's out looking for Sophia he finds a Cherokee rose and he talks about it so we decided to put that in there as well um and then it's kind of like a diner because you know she serves the cookies and mm -hmm. yeah this was kind of fun to do, but it was also really, like, it was a little bit challenging. These clamshells are no joke. They really, they, they stay together nicely. They are not going to open on you if you don't want them to. Okay, so for this, the it's an interesting mixture. Like, I really want to smell more bakery, but I smell more apples that kind of juxtapose the bakery. So the bakery is there. It's just not... It's not as strong as it could be, I think. Um, I think I think when we first mixed it, um, I could smell the bakery more. But then, like, after it kind of sits a little while, the apples come over. What ends up happening is that very first hit, 
like for a barest second, you get the bakery, but then the apple sauce comes. The apples come into that, mm -hmm. and then then they start to blend together. So it's a it's a really interesting way that it kind of flows across the olfactory palate. Totally. I I do enjoy the scent. Really, it's it's warm and it's sweet with just a little bit of tang to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next one that we have is called Born Leader, and it is Maggie. Maggie has come so far from being the farmer's daughter in season two. Well, she finally realized her purpose as somebody we can all get behind. Strawberries and pineapple for the sweetness, and eucalyptus and lemongrass for the grit. So on this cover, so she's wearing, she's on the horse, she's wearing that cowboy hat that you see her when you're in season two, um, when Glenn first finds her, and, and he's like, farmer's daughter. Um, so there's that. And then we wanted to pay homage to two of the people in her life that died. So there's these little, like, posts that kind of mark a grave, and we have Glenn's hat and Herschel's watch right next to there. And then way in the background, you're going to see Hilltop. And that is, you know, where she is kind of starting to evolve as a leader right now. So that's why we wanted to do Born Leader. Um, the strawberry and pineapple, like we said, for she's sweet. So we decided to put something sweet in there. And then the eucalyptus and lemongrass gives it like kind of a more earthy tone. You know, this is what's happening in Alexandria it's, and on Hilltop. It's very like you know, in the garden and, uh, you know, still rustic. Mm -hmm. um, what's really funny, and I'll tell you about this when he smells it. Yes. What's really funny about this is that, okay, so originally this scent was going to be a zombie-inspired scent called Walker, and I had purchased this blend. It was called Bite Me, <laughs> and because I thought, oh, that's funny. Let's do that. And it was really fruity. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, this does not smell like a zombie at all. No. So we changed it to Maggie, and I think it really works. Yeah, it does. Like, it it smells, I would think that she smells like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah, that's so, like, so how do you feel about that as far as your... Uh, you get a lot more of the fruit scents actively that you notice, but mm -hmm. then it, the other, the gritty things are hiding right underneath. And right. Yeah, that's also kind of representative of her. This is probably one of my favorite scents in this box. I tend to go towards the fruity scents, but this probably is one of my favorite scents in this box. For sure. All right, next one. It's called Southern Angel. If Daryl dies, we riot. And this scent is a complex, dark and is as complex, dark and comforting as he is. Coffee, mold cider, oak and cloves. So for this one, I really wanted there to be a <sighs> him <laughs> scent, mm -hmm. but I, but I, because of another scent that we have, I didn't want it to be. What does Daryl smell like? More of this is like when you think of Daryl, you think of things like this. So he does do the coffee, so that's why I put a little bit of coffee in there, and then the cider is more of like a southern thing, you know, mm -hmm. like when you, when you think of fall and you think of the cider and then the oak and the cloves, you know, it's him. He's very like, he's in there and he's getting it done. He He's, we had initially thought of calling this one Outrider mm -hmm. um, because he is uh, the, just that for the group. He is the scout. He goes out and he does stuff mm -hmm. and then he'll come back. So the oak and the cloves does kind of give you a woodsy feel, but because those aren't the primary notes, mm -hmm. they aren't overpowering. So for this art, we chose to do obviously the arrow that's right here because, you know, he has the bow and arrow, his bike, and then we have the wings on the sides of it, which are obviously from his leather jacket on the back. Okay, so for smelling this. Oh, I can already smell it. Yeah, so this one is stronger, and if you like more scents that are bitter, this is probably a good one for you. Um, I smell the coffee right away. Yeah. But then there's this like acid, smoky on the back end of it. Like I think from the cider and the the oak. When you're when you're farther away from it, you primarily smell the coffee. Mm -hmm. The closer you get to it, and once you start actually melting it, you'll get that mold cider and then the undernotes of the oak and cloves. Mm -hmm. And it's they kind of. Like, those two scents go with the coffee and the mold cider separately, which is interesting. Uh, it kind of gives it a little bit of spice. Yes. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. All right, one more scent to go. Sorry, this is taking a long time, but that's what we do. Mm -hmm. I, I love this cover. This is my favorite cover. This one is called Lucille. 
The most terrifying short-range weapon belongs to Negan, who we love to hate. Or hate to love. Either way, we imagined he would smell like leather, fire, smoke, and rain. Perfect for long winter's nights. This, what I love about this cover, and this was actually a concept that my husband came up with, was him in a drive-in movie. Like, there's the screen for, from like a drive-in movie, and granted this never happens in the show, but it's almost like he's living large. Like, that's the concept behind it. He's out there doing his, you know, big speeches and whatever. He's got Lucille in his hand. He wears a red scarf. Um, so, but we decided to make it white on here to maybe foreshadow what might happen in the end. The, the whole, I don't know if he surrenders. I don't know what happens because it hasn't happened yet, but... The whole concept behind this is the hollow victory. Um, mm -hmm. He is... He looks like he's this big, huge figure, but that's just because he's a projection. He's actually much smaller, and he's not as scary as he looks. And that doesn't mean that we don't love him. I personally love Negan so much. Best villain ever. Ever. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. Amazing. So, I had to do it. I really had to. And I thought, okay, legitimately, what does Negan smell like? To me, I feel like he would smell like everything that is good about a man's cologne, and yet also like have the scent of destruction but also maybe the sense of building. That's why I wanted the fire and the rain um, to give it a nice, like, comparison. This one, I honestly, I love the scent of this. It's not my favorite scent. It's not really a scent that I burn a lot, but I don't know what it is about the scent, but I'm just kind of like, it makes me think of camping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, the primary scent that I end up getting is leather. Mm. But there's a there's all that complexity behind it yeah. that doesn't make it just a straight up this is a leather smell. Mm -hmm. um, so it's this is one that you actually really should put in your car. Mm. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Because it's gonna give you better than a new car smell, and it's good for other areas as well. So it's it's just a really complicated one. Mm -hmm. And I think again, perfect for Negan. So that is what we have for the November box for the theme. Also, also because Walking Dead is coming out in October, so we thought this would be really appropriate. Um, for December, I just wanted to let you guys know, we are doing a 12 Days of Christmas Advent box that will be the sample portion cups. You won't be getting these clamshells, but you'll be getting 12 of them instead of just five. So there is a lot more that you're getting. We're going to be doing some movies. We're going to be doing some uh, created in in creator inspired scent people who have donated to our campaign are creating some scents for this box we're doing our own scents for this box so out of the 12 you're just going to get this really interesting like variety oh, of yeah. of wax for 12 days so i hope you guys are excited about that as we are um it is a little bit different than what we've been doing for the previous weeks but you're just going to get as much wax if not more <laughs> than you usually get which mm -hmm. is pretty cool yeah, I'm actually really excited to start in on this because some of these scents, they're great. And you're going to get a lot of holiday scents in here. And there are some scents that aren't necessarily holiday, which I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. For people who are like, I don't want all the bakery smells, people. We're trying to give you variety. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. We're going to put a playlist of all of our different wax box videos up here. And if you are new to us, make sure you subscribe and you're going to see that right here. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.